We are showing up just here at Antelope Island in the Great Salt Lake. We're fortunately we've been invited to participate in Kuyu's first ever conservation direct sheep release. Um, these are wild sheep that they have paid for in conjunction with themselves and their customers. 100% of the proceeds are going to starting and pioneering a couple, or re-pioneering a couple of sheep herds. Uh, one of them here on Antelope Island that had died out of disease and then another one over in uh, North Dakota that hasn't had sheep on it in 130 years. So we're super excited and honored to be a part of uh, setting a new herd of sheep free here on Antelope Island in Northern Utah. How you doing? Hi, I'm Jared. Jared, Andy Mokel. Nice to meet you, Nice Andy. to meet you. Yeah. How you doing? Andy, Andy, we've met before. Yeah. How are you doing? Good to see you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> What's up, man? How's it going? Good. Good. See you again. Running. Yeah. Isaac. Isaiah. 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 Yeah. Poor Isaac. Isaac. Yeah. One Isaac. <laughs> no one. <laughs> like, this sums up our day yesterday. Like, straight up, like, ER room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at those little faces sticking out. Yeah. yeah. We could do up to four at a those time. Those sheep have to be like, what? In the... It's everything that's scary to us that we think about, like aliens yeah. and abducted. That's, that's, that's what Brendan just saying. saying. That's, that's 100%. That looks like a pretty cool place for sheepies to live over there. Got a nice little cliffy. I mean, it's like they live on the ocean practically. That is cool. That's beautiful. That's the big this is about like the customers that the 16 people I call they gave the money like they're they're a very important part of this so yeah. you know. I want to introduce you personally to David and let and just have a three minutes to give to him so he can go back to Washington DC so he can go to everywhere and say hey conservation direct yeah it's it's a new wave of the future and he'll be excited about that so but honestly the fun part is doing this stuff <laughs> i know <laughs> <laughs> so do you know the background of the initial transplant out here no nice so in 97 there were 29 california big one sheep that came from the northwest that were released on this island Right? And that started California bighorn herds in Utah going forward. So that was, those, you know, there was no California. Then. There, there was no California. Prior to that. Yeah, that started our California bighorn sheep program. So from this nursery herd, there are now three additional herds in Utah that number over 600 sheep. We provided hunting opportunities for more than 100 sportsmen. There'll be almost 20 tags issued next year off of those three herds. So. Our goal with now these Rockies is to do the same exact thing with our rock herds because it gives Utah the flexibility to be aggressive with our transplants. We've got a bunch of areas in central Utah along the Desolation Corridor that have holes in them where we can put additional sheep and we're going to do the same thing with this herd over the next, you know, hopefully a couple of decades. I mean, that's, that's the, the neat part of the nursery herd and what we're starting here. Is it's not just, oh, there's going to be two rams a year killed out here, no. right? It's like, that's like, it's like nothing. Right, it's yeah. uh, 250 sheep that we're gonna move off this place over the next 20 years and start new herds. Yeah, I, I, it's just cool. It's, you know, for the economics of it, for the seed stock, for the hunting opportunity, and and just you know, tribe too. Like, I thought it was sea level here. Yeah, it's great sea level lake. right here. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I huffing and puffing? <laughs> You ready to turn some sheep loose? Like you said, I kind of want to keep them. <laughs> <laughs> what are we letting them go for? We got them all. We currently have them. They're blindfolded and everything. Everybody, <laughs> <laughs> okay. First, sit right here. Uh, this beats what I would have done in the office today. Yeah. Beats it by a couple of miles. Actually, I'm doing what Jonah would have done in the office anyway. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Except for doing it outside. Pretend to answer the phone. Yeah.
pretty awesome. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Awesome. Then how do you feel right now? Oh, it's just the start of a really cool, something really cool. It's been a long time coming, but on to the next one. Congrats, man. Cool. They don't they don't wait around, do they? Wow. We had a huge lamb recruitment last spring. Um, the sheep counts on Rocky Boy hit 200. The the goal is almost close to 100. So uh, it just gave us an opportunity to do two simultaneously. Um, and I just thought, man, what a, what a what a huge impact to have the first company customer funded sheep transplant to do it twice. I mean, there's two new sheep herds on the planet right now from what we did in the last two days, which has never been done before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I saw you had your son here. Why? My son may come hunt here down the road. And um, this is, it's, a, it's a pretty cool thing in the fact that it's a reciprocal trade. So it, it's an insurance policy for the tribe as well. Yeah. These sheep, when you guys hit um, the numbers that they're supposed to hit, will be able to be... Hold on a second. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> guys. <laughs> That's not why I brought it. <laughs> um, one of the cool things about this is it's a reciprocal trade, meaning when Antelope Island and the herd that we just did in North Dakota come back, get get up to their herd numbers, it's an insurance policy for the tribe as well. If they have a die-off like occurred at Antelope Island, we have first crack. The tribe at Rocky Boy has first crack at the sheep to give back. So the reason you transplant sheep is because someday you may need them back. Awesome. It all worked out. Awesome yeah, experience. <laughs> conservation works when the money goes to conservation, right? <laughs> right. That's what we like to see. So we've got fresh herd of sheep here getting ready to go do sheep business for the next few years to come. Appreciate Kuyu inviting us and letting us participate in it. Appreciate you guys coming up and being a part of it. It's a good time. We're going to go eat some dinner. Looks like you ate one of them sheep. <laughs> Has a hard time keeping it closed. You know what? We're only a handful of pounds apart here lately there. <laughs> I've put on like 10 pounds in the last couple weeks. <laughs> yeah, it's been a rough winter for me. He steps on the scale and he's like, tap, 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 tap. What tap, it is, tap, what tap. I like, I, I did it this